Hello everyone, I'm Kim Aline, and today is Tuesday, October 15th. You are now watching Open, a program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to you. Don't forget to stay connected with us via social media at BronxNet TV. Starting today until December 7th, Medicare beneficiaries can change their Medicare coverage. Senior Vice President for Growth and Business Development at Elder Plan slash Home First, Frank Polanco, joins me to discuss what to consider when making decisions about Medicare coverage. Frank, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me. This is so exciting. Thank you, Kevin. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. Now, I want to say that um, Medicare can be very confusing. I know it is for me, and I know it's confusing for a lot of people. Um, so I'm glad that we have you here on the show to kind of explain it all to us. Uh, to start, can you explain to viewers, you know, what that is and who is eligible for it? It's very exciting, very important time. Uh, in our community in New York, we have 4 million uh, seniors enrolled in Medicare. Right now is the opportunity that they have from October 15th to December 7th to make a change in how they receive their Medicare. So it's very important. We'd like everybody to, we, we say, reflect, research, and enroll to think about their current situation, how it may have changed, to research all the available plans in the market, and to make a decision by December 7th. Now, I understand there are different parts, uh, part A, B, C, and D. Uh, can you explain what that means? It's pretty complicated, but uh, I mean, the most important thing is that most folks, when they turn 65 in general, become eligible for Medicare. Historically, there was Part A, Part B, and Part D. Part A generally covered hospital, uh, Part B was generally for doctors, and Part D was for prescription drugs. Recent times, we added a Part C, which, is, which added Medicare Advantage, which is what we do at Elder Plan. We're a not-for-profit organization that does Medicare Advantage plans in the Bronx and in the surrounding area. Now, for our eligible viewers, can you give us the basics on the Medicare annual election period? Um, I know that is something that happens all the time. You know, can you just further explain why it's so important that people kind of remember that this is a time period where they should be paying attention to? It's actually more important this year than, than in past years because this year, for the first time, the government made a change limiting uh, the opportunity for some of our seniors to make changes to how they receive their Medicare. But in general, it is the one opportunity a year that seniors have to change the way they receive their Medicare, to make a change to the way they receive their Medicare Advantage. So when things change, and things do, personal situations change, maybe a new doctor, uh, maybe a new prescription drug, maybe your health plan has changed their benefits. They do. They change every single year. So it's a really important time, like I said previously, to reflect, research, and please make sure that you make a decision or decide to keep what you have by December 7th. Now, what should people consider when choosing a health plan? Absolutely, that's, you know, that's a big question. It sh should always be about your personal situation. What has changed? Like, it, do you have a new drug? Uh, do you have the need for a new benefit? People talk about OTC cards. People talk about transportation. What has changed in your life? And what has changed in the market? Sometimes plans leave service areas. They might decide to, to leave the Bronx. They might decide to leave Manhattan. Is your plan staying in the service area? Those are some of the important uh, uh, inflection points that you should have when you decide on a plan. Now I understand that even if you're already enrolled, this is still something that you should pay attention to. If you are enrolled, you know, what should you do? If you are enrolled? Yeah. If you are enrolled, you should make sure that the plan that you've had for years servicing you is still servicing you the way that you need to be serviced. If you have changes, make sure that there aren't other plans out there in the community which, with, which might offer you better service. You can come to elderplan.org. We have benefit advisors that will come out. They'll speak your language and help you understand the offerings in the market and help you enroll if that's what makes sense for you. And, and I also wanted to expand on that because as we mentioned in the beginning, this is a very confusing time. Yes. Um, it can also be very overwhelming yes. to have to think about your health, what you need, and to kind of read through all that stuff. You know, what are some services out there that can help people uh, kind of walk them through uh, the changes that they need to look out for? Well, I will say that Medicare has an awesome resource, Medicare.gov and CMS.gov. Also by the government, they list all the plans and all the different offerings and have a lot of great information. And I would say that elderplan.org is also a terrific site uh, with a lot of information about different Medicare Advantage plans. And we will send someone out to your home to meet with you, to explain everything to you and help you make decisions and help you understand your options. Now, if what, what, what could possibly happen if a viewer makes a change during the annual election period, um, but doesn't like maybe 
the change that they made or they regret it? You know, is there a second chance? Is there's there an opportunity? No. Okay, <laughs> no, good. I'm yeah. kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, there absolutely is an opportunity. If on January 1st, when you have your new health plan, you decide that, oh no, I made a mistake or I didn't consider this, you will have an opportunity to change. It's called the open enrollment period. It starts on January 1st and it ends on March 31st. So there will be an opportunity. If you made a decision during the annual election period that you did not like, you can make a change. That's you amazing. won't you won't be stuck. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's really great news to hear. Now, you know, I want to talk about the importance of this because as we are focusing on seniors, um, we know that a lot is at risk yes. when it comes to the resources available to them. Can you just explain um, why it's so important that, you know, not only people who are seniors, but people who care for seniors, you know, maybe it's a grandma or a parent, um, why we should kind of be involved in this process or if we can help help them with this as well. I'll give you an example, a, a real example. I, I received a phone call. A gentleman's mother just realized that the plan that his plan, the plan that his mother was in was leaving the borough that they were in. And the whole family was concerned because, you know, this was going this could possibly uproot where the mother would be able to go to the doctor, what her co-pays would be, how she would access her prescription drugs. So it's a major concern, not just for the seniors, but, but for, for their family members, for their sons and for their daughters. It's always important. So please, I would just ask everyone, reflect, research, and make sure you make a decision by December 7th. And you know, where can people go to learn more you know, about making the right decisions? I know we talked a little bit about it now, um, but of course, if they, you know, don't have the time right now and they want to, you know, save it because, you know, we do have a little bit of time until December 7th. We do. You know, what can, where can people go to learn more information? Elderplan.org, uh, CMS.gov, Medicare.gov, and Elderplan would love, you know, to be able to help you in this decision. Uh, we will send benefit advisors out. We speak your language. We have uh, all the documents in, in different languages, Spanish, Chinese, Russian, and we can give you all the information to help you make a good decision during the annual election period. And while we're here, we didn't get to t touch on it in the beginning, but can you tell us a little bit more about Elder Plan, um, the organization and the work that you do? Elder Plan is a 40-year-old uh, Medicare Advantage plan. Uh, we have a managed long-term care plan called Home First also. Uh, we service, it's just a coincidence, but 40,000 members now, which is kind of cool. It's a milestone that we just hit, so we're very excited. We, we serve the communities of the five boroughs, and we go a little north and a little east. We go to Nassau and Westchester. But, but we're in the community. We have uh, many representatives in the community talking directly to, to our potential members, and we're excited to, to speak to the community every day. Well, that's amazing, and I want to thank you so much for joining us. I know just through this work that I've been doing um, that sometimes the senior community or the elder community um, is often overlooked um, and, you know, often doesn't get the resources that they deserve, so it's great to see that there are organizations out there um, doing the work to help um, elders feel visible and you know just letting them know this are, these are the things that are in place to help them protect them health their health and you know and their families and all that so you know with that I want to thank you so much for joining us and kind of educating our viewers about what to do and again that's on December 7th it ends on December ends 7th on December enroll 7th. reflect research and enroll okay well once again thank you so much for joining me thank you Kevin it's my pleasure for more information on the Medicare annual election period, please go to the website medicare.gov. Don't go away. We'll be back with more open right after this.